Hello, so here with a new video tutorial. In this video, we are going to work on local replication SnapVX. What is SnapVX? It's the snapshot functionality, snapshot offer from Dell EMC, and SnapVX is the snapshots that provide protection without requiring a target volume. As production data is updated, the snapshots preserve point in time data as Dell does. Each snapshot is assigned a user defined name which can be modified later. A snap ID and generation ID further identify a specific snapshot version according to creation order. So in this lecture today we are going to have several lessons. Uh, the very first one is to create a new local snapshot. So let's open the demo. And we are going to log in with SMC credentials as usual. Click on login. Today we are going to work on 0107 system. I am going to, yep, it's looking better now. 0107. Uh, but first, as sample, we have to create a new status group. So I am going to create a status group called SnapDX demo. So let's go to storage, then storage groups. And let's click on create. This is going to be really fast. Snap BX. And we are going to add four volumes of four gigabyte each. Okay, that's it. Run now. Okay. Very good. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, lesson number one, local base snapshot. So but for the first, uh, for this source group that we just create, let's find it here, snap. So here is our new status group, and we are going to create a local snapshot. This means that it's stored locally in the same array. So if you click here, here we can see that there is no snapshot policies associated, nor any snapshot or cloud snapshot. So once we select it, let's click on protect. And we are going to create a snapshot using a snap VX. Click on next. Uh, this is going to be stored locally and it's going to be a new snapshot then uh, the snapshot name is going to be snapshot underscore one and the expiry type for expiry type uh, we have uh, to choose time to live and this means the retention so how how far is it going to leave this snapshot we can set it here uh, for one let's put one day six hours Let's click on next. Here we have the summary and run now. So here we have the task is in progress. Let's wait a second. So the last step was refreshing SnapVX entities and succeeded. Let's click on OK. And here we can see our new snapshot. Here we can see that uh, it changed from 0 to 1. If we click on the on one link, here we are going to see our snapshot one. It's looking really good. Now, lesson number 2. Create cloud-based snapshot. So let's go back one level back uh, 
and for the lesson to create cloud-based snapshot this means that this snapshot won't take any space from our local array it will take it from a bucket from the cloud so let's click on protect again create a snapshot using a snap bx and the snapshot location is going to be cloud the snapshot name is going to be cloud snap and the cloud provider it's going to be ECS here we have another options as AWS for for this for this scenario we are choosing ECS okay and for the retention keep four we can keep this snapshot for one week and let's click on next here we have the summary and run now let's wait a second for the task progress all right so here we have the information we have two snapshots one of these snapshots it's a cloud snapshot so let's click on number two this is our local snapshot and if we go to the cloud snapshots here we are going to see our cloud underscore snap here we can see that this is stored in ECS good 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 uh, now we are going to the next lesson is link a snapshot one second so for uh, lesson number three link a snapshot uh, several activities for the storage admin requires to uh, from a certain uh, point in time point in time snapshot we have to present that to any host or to any customer in particular to perform any test or consistency data consistency any kind of this can be run on those copies on these snapshots with not affecting the current production data and this is one of the most common use cases of the snapshot so at this point we are going to link a snapshot to a host but first uh, let's create a new snapshot for this for this lesson tree so i have here the storage group selected let's click again on protect I am going to create a new local. I'm going really fast here. Let's wait a second. It just succeeded with refreshing the snap bx entities let's click on ok all right so here we have now three snapshots and the one that we are going to link and create an independent storage group is going to be a snapshot underscore two snapshot underscore one we are going to work with that uh, later so first we have to select the snapshot and now we have to click on link so this is uh, we can select uh, the target storage group so we can link it to an existing storage group but for this case and i think uh, for this use case for testing uh, the data of a certain point of time of a storage group we can create a new storage group which we can leave this name snapbx demo underscore link sg001 all right so let's click on advanced options and here we have advanced options for copy for the starting remote we are not covering this right now let's click on run now
Okay, so here we can see that it successfully created the devices, target volumes for link replicas. Uh, here we can see the progress is still ongoing. Just wait a second. All right, it succeeded. Let's click on OK. And it creates a new status group. So for, for testing purposes or whatever customer requirements are out there, uh, we, we have created a new status group totally independent from the original SnapDX demo. So if if we navigate back to SnapDX status groups, here we can see it. Here we can see our newly created uh, independent storage group. So just a second here. Yeah. So the next. Uh, wait a second. All right. Uh, before leaving the status group uh, view we uh, we can create we can establish a policy what does it mean it means that uh, or um, in a snapshot policy it will take uh, whatever uh, snapshots you you have instructed and it will be uh, recurrent in the time so instead of creating a manual snapshot as we did uh, right now we can establish we can establish a, a snapshot policy that's having a schedule. So let's go again with a SnapBX demo and click on protect. And we can add a snapshot policy. Let's click on next. And here we have the snapshot policies available. Here we have a daily default, hourly default, weekly, and cloud policy. Uh, for this case, we can select a daily default policy and click on next. This is the summary. So now our storage group is going to be associated, our storage group snapbx underscore demo is going to be associated with a policy. And this policy runs on a schedule that's taking the snapshot automatically for us. So let's click here on OK. And now here we can see a big difference on the, on the overall information of the storage group. Here we have the snapshot policy now as number one. We have three snapshot and one cloud snapshot. Let's click on the policy. I just click on number one. And here we can see that uh, this is associated to daily default. Uh, okay, so now how can we create a snapshot policy? We have to go to... Uh, let me refresh my mind. We have to check that on data protection. Here we have the snapshot policies. And here we have uh, the snapshot policies displayed before. Here we have the daily default, hourly default, weekly default, cloud policy. And if we click on the daily default, here we are going to see our SnapBX storage group. Here we can see that this policy is associated also with the storage group called IRCO1 SD8. So let's go back one level. And we can create a snapshot policy based on our business requirements or probably on user requirements. I have seen that uh, many customers run policies during business hours, so we can uh, we can do that uh, with creating a snapshot policy. And let's go there. So for creating a snapshot policy, it's really easy. Here we have to put the name. In this case, it's going to be demo policy. It's going to be a local, not cloud. Uh, the type is we can. We cannot choose uh, secure, that's going to be covered in a few minutes. 
and here we have the RPO so for this case we can run this policy uh, we can leave the, the recovery point objective as every four hours we can keep it uh, we can run this policy every four hours and we can keep it uh, for let's say five days and this is how you create a policy so that it will be total of 30 snapshots there will be no more than 30 snapshots as uh, the new day comes the older snapshot will be automatically deleted so for compliance we can leave it as a fold and we can click on save so this is the progress of creating a new snapshot policy all right it completed and here we have our new demo policy let's go back to our storage groups and look again for a snap dx you can do it well with clicking here the filter button if i choose a snap dx click and click on protect let's click on add the snapshot policy again and here we are going to see our new created policy let's click on cancel and click on yes so in case you don't you don't need uh, a snapshot policy associated with your storage group it's really easy to remove it once you have selected your storage group let's click on modify and here we have the information let's click on daily default here and just uncheck it from here that's it just click on ok and run this is how you remove a snapshot policy from a storage group okay it's loading okay it completed succeeded let's click on ok you know here on the right hand side here we can see that uh, there is no snapshot policy it's displaying zero all right next lesson is secure snap what is a secure snap let's go there secure snaps a snap bx has the ability to create secure snap and set a secure expiration time in days or hours so secure snap cannot be modified or deleted by any user at any privilege this exercise will demonstrate how to create secure snap with time finder so for this exercise let's again let's again select our storage group called snap bx demo then click on protect and create again a snapshot using snap bx uh, we can keep a local and new and the snapshot name is going to be secure snap uh, now please don't touch expiry type click directly to advanced options and check enable secure snaps uh, and here we can leave uh, we can insert um, the retention period so it will leave it will be seven days for this secure snap so nobody will be able to touch uh, or delete this snapshot until seven days let's click on ok and here we have a, a warning secure snapshots may only be terminated after the expire or by a customer authorized dell emc support click on next and here we have the summary now click on run now the task is in progress and we are going to try an attempt to delete this snapshot that's is supposed to don't work okay it completed click on ok and now we can see here four snapshots let's click on the snapshots and here we have our secure snapshot so here we can see that it's secure and if we try to delete it 
we can do that with clicking the more actions and terminate the snapshot and click on run now the task is in progress it's trying to terminate the secure snap and let's see what's the message it failed it says the action cannot be performed because the snapshot specified is a secure snapshot so this is really great for having uh, security in our infrastructure so nobody can touch any sensitive snapshots so the final uh, click on ok and now click on cancel here and the final lesson today is going to be terminate a snapshot so we can do that for our snapshot one that we just create on the beginning of the exercises you can click on the snapshot one then three dot more actions click on terminate now click on run now the task is in progress right now and let's see what's the message at the end finish terminate it's looking really good refresher uh, it's refreshing now let's click on ok and here we can see that our snapshot one is gone we have terminated that snapshot this is it for today's lesson. Thank you so much.